So we're coming to the very end of 2017, and it is a time for reflection and looking back while also looking ahead and preparing for the year to come. But with that said, this is a particular moment to look back, and the topic of today's video is who was WWE's Superstar of the Year for 2017? And I feel like you have four candidates, maybe five, and I'll make the case for each of them, and you guys can vote in the comments section below and via social media. I don't even know if I'm going to reveal who my choice would be, although some of you probably will already know. Anyways, let's kick this bad boy off. The finalist, the nominees are first, Brock Lesnar. He won the Universal Championship from Goldberg in that epic encounter at WrestleMania 33. He has carried that title all the way through the rest of 2017. He has had some feuds against guys like Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman. He had a really memorable four-way match at SummerSlam. The point being is he has been on a roll from a purely character standpoint in terms of going through everybody else, even though we know eventually where it's going to end up and where it's going to go. But he's been in some featured spots, in some big money matches against guys, again, like Goldberg in matches with guys like Braun Strowman, Roman Reigns, Samoa Joe, solo matches with Samoa Joe and Braun Strowman, and then AJ Styles. He's had a big year. Not from a business standpoint, not from a drawing money and attendance standpoint, but from a kayfabe character standpoint, he's had a pretty big year. Then you have AJ Styles, the face that runs the place on SmackDown. He's had the WWE Championship twice this year, if you remember, because he carried it into the 2017 Royal Rumble and recently won it back from Jinder Mahal right before Survivor Series over there in the UK. He had a match of the year type of candidate a match with John Cena at the 2017 Royal Rumble, or so many people seem to believe. He had a match of the night candidate at WrestleMania 33 and a match that people had really low expectations for with Shane McMahon. It ended up being one of the real highlights of the show. He won the U.S. title from Kevin Owens at that Madison Square Garden house show during the summer. AJ Styles had some big moments, and Name me a really bad AJ Styles match, and as many people seem to put such a premium on just the in-ring component and in-ring component alone, it makes sense that he would be in the running for this. Then I go to the next nominee, Braun Strowman. You talk about a guy that has seen a nice rocket ship trajectory not a total force, but there's a, definitely been a push. But you can see the change in perspective, the change in the view by the audience from the beginning of 2017. Oh, God, here goes Vince. Here's another muscle guy. This freaking bodybuilding loving dude just can't let it go. It's not the type of guys we want in today's wrestling. We want the smaller, quicker athletes. Well, Braun Strowman, with all of that, getting away from the Wyatt family and all that other hot garbage went on to have a memorable match with the Big Show on Raw. Think about that. People were marking for a Big Show match in 2017. He had the feud of the year with Roman Reigns. I think beyond question it was the story of the feud of the year. They had several memorable matches, most notably the ambulance match at Great Balls of Fire. He was a part of that great SummerSlam four-way where he was really the star, if you want to be honest. He got his own single shot at Brock Lesnar. He's in position now to face Brock Lesnar along with Kane in a three-way for the title at the Royal Rumble. He went from being a guy that people were looking at as just a muscle fetish with Vince to we were arguing during the summer about whether or not the time was now to put the belt on him that you had to do it and you had to do it now. Like all the build is for Reigns to Lesnar and da 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 da. It's like Sting Hogan going to Starcade 97. That said, though, Luger got so hot in the middle of 97 that WCW put the title on Luger, even if it was, yes, just for six days. But they did it because they wanted to cement and reward the reactions and the, the just overall overness that Luger had and the, the white hot streak that he was on. Braun Strowman was kind of in that similar position. 
The next nominee is The Miz. You look at taking something that looks like it's going to be shit and turning it into solid gold. That feud with him and Maurice and Cena and Nikki Bella was just pure comedy gold and entertainment times a thousand. His mocking of John Cena, the broomstick up his ass walk to the 1001 house rules and all this other dumb crap and the, the ribbon and the teasing about, I've got a proposal for you, why don't you follow John Cena's rule of the house number 18? Just freaking gold. Taking something that should be stupid, that should be crap, that's not about you and really ultimately getting the shine off of it. Just incredible stuff. Absolutely incredible. The LeVar Ball segment, it was on Ms. TV. You're damn right that goes in the positive category. It's one of the most talked about moments on the show all damn year. You know, just in general, The Miz being The Miz. Because The Miz is awesome. He deserves to be nominated here. And then lastly, you've got Roman Reigns. He had several pay-per-view main events this year. The Royal Rumble, WrestleMania 33, Payback, Extreme Rules, SummerSlam. You're talking about a guy who was the final two, again at a Royal Rumble, this time 2017 Royal Rumble, before he got eliminated by Randy Orton. He main evented WrestleMania and beat The Undertaker. He had the feud of the year with Braun Strowman. He beat John Cena at no mercy. Think about that from a purely kayfabe and character standpoint. You beat John Cena and The Undertaker in the same year, you've got a freaking career. You beat one of them. Especially beating Taker at Mania, or just beating Cena in general, you could argue, is a career for some guys. For Roman Reigns, he beat them both in the same damn year. Then he went on to win the Intercontinental Championship. He became a Grand Slam champion in the WWE, I think, depending on the configurations of titles, but all together with all the different configurations of titles that would make up the Grand Slam. He's like the 22nd guy in history to do that, and like the 8th or ninth under the current configuration of titles that consist of the Grand Slam Championship. You're talking about a guy that's main evented several of the big four pay-per-views, and hell, he even mysteriously got the mumps some damn how. He got the mumps. The mumps. Y'all got to stop rubbing, running that choo-choo on JoJo backstage. But there's no question that Roman Reigns had a monster year. Again, not necessarily great for business, not necessarily great for ratings, not necessarily great for live event attendance. But if we use that as the sole measurement, then none of these guys deserve to be Superstar of the Year because none of them really moved the needle at all. But who do you think should be the WWE Superstar of the Year? Should it be Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Braun Strowman, The Miz, Roman Reigns? Be sure to vote down below in the comment section. Make your voices heard to the Twitter page, the Facebook page for OTRS Central. Let me know who do you think is the Superstar of the Year for WWE in 2017 and why? I can't wait to see your answers and see if we will have some flaming keyboard fingers of fire engaged because I'm sure I will have some ready-made responses.